Poland fighter at the back here. I oh know Polish, my mistake. The Polish, yep, against, against the, the Italian. Italian, Italian with um, massive strength behind him, but not really using it that much with this. Obviously, being very precise with these mm. hits. And always Looks fist bumping. Like <laughs> over. Avalok again, still against the um, the Israeli, uh, playing defensively. Señoras y señores, I can see some, uh, some la competición so de espada y escudo toma un pequeño descanso there. para que se recuperen los luchadores que volverán ya para la siguiente fase del playoff en 15 minutos. The Por lo tanto, no habrá actividad en las listas 3 y 4 in the round. Let's have a fist bump attack. There we go. The go. Left out. That's the one. Hungary versus China. Poland and uh, Italy at, at it again. Number two, um, list number two. Team, ooh, getting nice and close. And we continue There's a punch thrown there. Not too sure list number one whether that counts Poland as anything or even allowed. Italy. You can see these are big guys here. And you've got China there against Hungary. Fantastic. Uh, looking forward to seeing how China works with their pole arms. They are historically uh, large pole arm users. Yeah, that's right. And so this might end up with uh, some very interesting uh, victories. Yeah. Well, well, very, very active. On that round there. So it's a nice move. We've got a great angle here where we'll be able to see. And a nice swing there from the Polish fighter. We can see USA had uh, beaten Israel in the uh, pole arm duel right, yeah. with Avalok and uh, Michael Mogulus. Mm -hmm. But this continues got this uh, Italian with an opponent. Who do you expect to be good in this category? Pole arms. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's equal at the moment between them, just one round apiece, but the, the final round has been called there. It's quite relaxed, like um, this, is a, this is an everyday thing. Pole arms not being something that uh, is 